Hello everyone, welcome to my Unreal Engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game. So last time we textured our landscape by adding texture input parameters into our material function in the landscape material. So this time I'm going to show you how to get rid of this texturing effect you see all over the world. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I will do I will give some scaling of the texture uh, in distance there will be some different scaling and in the nearby there will be some different scaling so that is that would be the first thing I'm going to do right so let's get started so I'll open our material like this and this is the same function for each layer I'll open it and okay so now we need to in order to give scale our layer textures we have to use this UVs node to do that so this UV this one represents uh, a 2D vector so that means uh, we can use this texture coordinate node to get a 2D vector which represents the current pixel or the current coordinate of the pixel that we are rendering so by multiplying this one with some parameter I can get for now I'll set this B to 1 so if I make it like 0.2 and input here so we can get larger scaling for this texture wait till it compiles okay so as you can see here now this texture is much larger than before so I want in distance this scaling to be larger that means this multiplier B should be smaller and in the near scaling should be smaller so that means this B value should be larger okay so to do that well first I need to implement this distance scaling and nearby scalings as a parameter so I can input it to our material function so I'll first promote drag a line here and call it function input scalar and I'll set the default value as 1 and I'll call this near scaling and I'll duplicate this one and I'll call this one distance scaling right and I have to connect this one here as well right so now now how do we get this how do we blend this distance scaling and nearby scaling to do that first if I input this one into here this one gets the scaling I get from this one and how to blend it with this one to do that I'll create another node like this I'll duplicate this one with control W and plug this here and plug this one here as you is now I need a way to lerp these two or linearly interpolate these two based on the distance from the camera to do that we need a gradient value which goes to 1 from 
as we go into the distance from camera so we can do it like this so the pixel depth this one this node output the distance from camera the current pixel is in so I can use this one and I can divide this one in first I will subtract some value from here and this value represents the distance that start blending distant texture scale with the near texture scale so I'll set this as a function input like this and I'll call it uh, blend distance alright so I'll set the default value as thousand okay now I divide this with another parameter or another uh, that should also be a function input I'll set this as uh, I'll call this blend sharpness if it is a smaller value then the blending will happen only in a small area so the edge will be sharp if this is a larger value then blender blending will happen in a larger area so the blending will be smooth so I'll set the default value as for this one 500 Since these are parameters and the function inputs, we can always change these. So, right now I get this value. So, this gives us this DOI gives us a gradient that uh, increase from the start of the zero to some value. As it go far from the camera, it will be larger so I'll clamp this one into 0 and 1 because we are going to linearly interpolate these two with the output of this one so we need only values between 0 and 1 so I'll take an output here lab means linearly interpolate this one and this one right this right and I'll plug alpha as this one right now I'll plug it here so let's wait until it is compiled okay it's compiled but I don't see a change that's because near scaling and large scaling distance scaling is same so I'll set near scale in as point one, and now let's see if anything happens. Well, actually, we get the get what happens here, but the problem is this near scale in should be larger, and I made a mistake there. And the larger distant scale in should be smaller, like this. Sorry about that okay so now we see the effect as it go further from the camera it the texture size become larger and as it go closer the texture size becomes smaller so I'll apply this and yes as expected it shows some errors here that's because we haven't defined inputs for these near scaling and distant scaling so I'll fix it All 
right and I'll promote this to a parameter distance scaling I'll set the default value to 0.1 or 0.4 let's see what is what is the better value and I'll set this one promote this one to a parameter blend distance and I'll set the default value to 1000 and this one I'll set the default value to 500 okay so I'll use the same parameters for other layers as well okay this one I forgot to do that so near scaling it should be 1 and distance and sharpness one more to go yes carry distance carry then distance and blend sharpness so this is the advantage of using material functions so I can with the changing by changing the same function I can see the effect of change in four layers so let's wait until the compiling is done okay so it is compiled and yeah so we have got we we got rid of this uh, near uh, tiling effect in the near and also we have get rid of this tiling to some extent but still it's not completely gone so let's try change in these parameters what happens this distance blending right so these are the new parameters I'll change the blend distance okay so as you can see you can some changes in this area like that so it okay so play with these values to find the sweet spot and also I can change this near tiling with this one if let's say I'll change this to 2 or 5 we can see the effect here only in the nearby area I'll keep it as one because it is better and this distance scaling I can change it to 0.1 or 0.2 you see the effect so I'll leave it like 0.4 and yeah so that's all for this video and uh, so this is uh, this part I, I in this episode I only hope to introduce blend, scale blending and in the next episode I'll show you how to completely get rid of this tile in further with the use of noise blending thank you very much see you in the next episode goodbye